if you're having pro problems with your TP link here, it says it's connected, but there's no internet actually here. Well, there are a few things that you could try doing. So first is you want to reconnect with the correct password. Sometimes the problem is as simple as a strong Wi-Fi or uh, wrong Wi-Fi password here. So you want to go to your device Wi-Fi settings, then forget the TP link network and reconnect it by typing the password again. This refreshes the connection and rules out password errors. Next is you may want to restart the modem and router in the right order. So turn off both your modem and the TP link router. Now wait for about 30 seconds, then power on the modem first. After the modem fully connects, turn on the TP link, start them in order, and ensure your router can properly grab internet from the internet. Now, next is you want to check if the internet works directly from the source. Now, you want to connect a computer or laptop directly to the modem with an internet cable. If there's still no or there's still no internet here, the issue is likely with your ISP, not your TP link. Now, if the internet works this way, then the problem is isolated to the router. Now also, you may want to inspect cables and router settings here. So make sure the cable from the modem is plugged into the TP-Link's one port, not the LAN ports. Try a different Ethernet cable to rule out damage and then log in to your TP-Link admin page and check if the one or internet status shows connected. Now if you're on a PPPoE or other login-based connection, make sure the username and password are entered correctly. Also, you may want to adjust and remove uh, DNS here. So. In this case, you want to adjust your DNS. Sometimes DNS servers cause the connected but no internet error. So change your DNS to something reliable like Google's DNS, like 8888 and the 88.44 uh, DNS. Or Cloudflare, which is going to be 1.1.1.1. So while in settings, also check for access control, parental filters, or a Mac filtering that may block device from reaching the internet. And also update or reset as a last resort. Now check TP Link's website or app for firmware updates since outdated firmware can cause connection issues. Now if problem, problems continue here, reset your device network settings or perform a factory reset on the TP Link's router. Now this clears out old configurations and give you gives you a fresh setup here. But that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.